I'm a physician at the hospital, working in the Department of Hematology, and I have a research group here in the Stem Cell Center. Our main theme is to improve the treatment for patients with hematological malignancies, that is blood diseases and blood cancer. And therefore we work on two different topics. One is improvement of stem cell transplantation by making better stem cell products. And the other uh, half is that we deal with what is called the, what is the, called the stroma stem cell, which is the environment in which hematopoietic stem cells reside. So those two themes are the main topic in my lab. The greatest challenges in my area are when it comes to transplantation that the patients are at risk for transplantation complications. That is the main risk is that the transplanted cells react against the patients which is called GBHD. And the other risk is that they do that these transplanted cells do not engraft so they don't grow in the recipient. And the challenge for us is to prepare the transplanted cells in such a way that they are highly engraftable but not causing this deleterious GVH re reaction. On the other hand, if with it, when it comes to stroma stem cells, the greatest challenge is first to identify these cells because that is, has not been done yet in a sufficient manner and then find ways how we can repair these cells or replace these cells in patients that have a defective stroma compartment or in those that need these cells as an addition to their normal transplantation. One of the breakthroughs we had in our lab recently was that we were able for the first time to identify the stromal, human stromal stem cells to, uh, with a precision that has not been reached yet. So a postdoc in my lab, Hong Shei Li, she did uh, uh, very nice experiments and she found out that one receptor which is expressed on these cells, it is PDGF receptor alpha, is very important to identify this. So this is, was a major breakthrough what we think in stromal cell biology and this will help us to much better define these important cells in normal bone marrow but also in bone marrow of patients with hematological diseases. The short-term goals in, my, in, in the project uh, aiming to produce optimum stem cell transplants is that we have a, a novel method called acoustophoresis where we use ultrasound, ultrasound to for cell sorting and to develop this for stem cell products. And here we have already come some way but here we need to do more and we expect within the next two or three years to make considerable progress that we have a prototype machine maybe for that. On the other hand the stromal cell uh, project is in the short term, in the next two or three years we want to further characterize these immature stem cells and then also begin understanding their role in normal and diseased bone marrow. The long term goals in my lifetime w would be to develop a method for stem cell transplantation which is as little harm, harm, harming the patients as possible. And we want to contribute to this by giving them the optimum stem cell transplants and providing an optimal environment by, for example, developing stromal cell transplantation therapy. My personal driving force is the, the experience I have in the clinic on a daily basis that we have patients that are sick, they need better pre treatment, they need improved treatment methods and this drives brings the question directly to the laboratory and we try to bring the answer back to the clinical practice.